certainly these members will conclude that unfortunately one of the consequences of having such a nuclear deterrent is to have these systems in a situation which causes inherent danger. Because the point I'm making is that the working of this system is inherently dangerous because a nuclear reactor and nuclear weapons and submarine is not uh, an easy fit. The military value of this deterrent as an independent deterrent is non existent. Its use would break international law. As a weapon of security, it is not. It is a sign of insecurity of the United Kingdom, believing that fading grandeur can be protected by being one of the, the big five and having a generation of nuclear weapons. I would like to, uh, uh, to say that uh, if the Honourable Member for Agaio, Mr Speaker, is lucky enough to catch your eye in a, a minute or so's time, uh, then as far as I can check from the House of Commons records, he will be the first Honourable Member of this House ever to make two substantive speeches on the first two sessional dates, uh, an extraordinary occurrence which even the greatest of parliamentarians through history have not achieved. Such will be the activity of this uh, honourable member for yeah. Argyll. Yeah. 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 But thinking about that and thinking about the great uh, parliamentarians of the past, perhaps the Minister will allow me to paraphrase one of them and to say that, given the political realities in Scotland, she and the government would be making a fatal mistake if they believed that for the sake of this costly trumpery, that this useless, expensive, unlawful and inherently dangerous military plaything yeah, yeah, is going yeah, yeah. to be tolerated by these benches, this party yeah, or this country that. for any longer. Yeah, 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 yeah.